introduction light shows the property of reflection and refraction reflection the bouncing back of light on hitting any medium or surface is called reflection of light concave mirror the spherical part of the sphere which is painted from the outside side is called concave mirror convex mirror the spherical part of the mirror which is painted from the inner side is called convex mirror real time examples concave mirror concave mirrors are commonly used in torches search lights and vehicle headlights to get powerful parallel beams of light convex mirrors have a wider field of view and hence used as a rear view mirrors apparatus required a concave mirror a convex mirror a meter scale a screen and mirror stand procedure for concave mirror select a distant object from the laboratory window distance should be more than 50 feet fix the concave mirror on the mirror stand placed on the table facing the distant object place the screen in front of the reflecting surface of the mirror move the screen back and forth until a clear sharp image of the distant object is obtained on the screen measure the distance between the concave mirror and the screen with a meter scale the distance is the focal length of the given concave mirror record the focal length repeat the above procedure twice and record the readings take three readings and calculate the average focal length procedure for convex lens keep the lens in the holder facing a distant object as lab window fix the screen on another holder and keep it on the bench adjust the position of the screen in such a way that the sharp image of the given distant object falls on it note down the position of the lens in the table and the screen and find the differences and record the same the difference will give the focal length of the given convex lens take three readings and calculate the average focal length